TEPCO has been criticized for its poor handling of leaks at the plant and for its late recognition that radioactive materials are flowing into the ocean. The company's president has responded with a pledge to set up a special task force in charge of managing contaminated water. We need to deploy all the required personnel and equipment at the plant. We understand this is a major challenge and we're determined to confront it steadfastly. TEPCO officials say experts from outside Japan will also be invited to join the task force on contaminated water. In addition, TEPCO's vice president in charge of nuclear power will be stationed at the plant to oversee operations directly. Japanese government officials say they're determined to take the lead in stopping radioactive groundwater from leaking from the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima. The industry minister is suggesting public funds be used to help cover the cost of building a large underground wall to dam the water. So far, TEPCO has simply reacted to leakage problems as they arise. But the government will now take the lead. Montegi visited Fukushima Daiichi and surveyed the area where contaminated groundwater is being pumped out to prevent it from getting into the ocean. The proposed underground wall would ring the plant in piping. Workers would pump coolant into the pipes, which would freeze the soil and stop water from entering a contaminated area. Motegi also viewed the site where about 300 tons of highly radioactive water leaked from a storage tank and may have seeped into the sea. He told crews with plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company or TEPCO to take several measures. They include enhancing the monitoring of storage tanks and installing more welded tanks. The tank that leak was made of steel plates attached by bolts rather than welding. Japanese leaders are pledging to do more to help solve the problem of radioactive water leaking from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They're offering government funding for a start. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga called the leak of contaminated water from a storage tank at the plant extremely regrettable. The plant's operator says some of the water could have seeped into the sea already. Suga said he believes the operator failed to properly maintain the tank. He said the industry minister has been instructed to consider how government funds could be used to manage the contaminated water. <laughs> The government will do all it can to help resolve the problem as soon as possible. Suga said he believes the problem of the leak will not affect Tokyo's bid to host the 2020 Summer Olympics and Paralympics. The people in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say a leak of radioactive water may be worse than they thought. Last week they found the water had leaked out of a storage tank. Now they've learned it flowed in two directions. Last Monday, workers found more than 300 tons of highly radioactive wastewater had leaked from the tank. The water seeped out of a low barrier through a valve used to drain rainwater. Workers detected high levels of radiation inside a nearby ditch. Now, officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company have made new revelations. They say last Thursday, workers detected even higher levels of radiation near a valve on the other side of the tank. The officials fear contaminated water may have flowed out of there too. And they worry the runoff may have seeped into the ground. So they've decided to remove soil from a wider area than they had planned. They still don't know what caused the leak or how far the contamination spread. Officials suspect some of the water may have flowed into the ocean through the drainage ditch. TEPCO officials have hinted that it'll take weeks to find out why radioactive wastewater leaked from the tank. TEPCO executives presented a plan to investigate the incident to the Nuclear Regulation Authority. They said possible causes of the leak include loose joints, deteriorated parts, and corrosion at the bottom or sides of the tank. The officials said radiation levels in the tank are high. They plan to remove radioactive materials in the coming week so that investigators can go inside. The nuclear regulators told TEPCO to speed up its investigation. They also said measures must be taken for about 300 tanks of the same type if necessary. Nuclear regulators in Japan have officially changed their assessment of a leak of highly radioactive water at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. They've raised the leak's classification on an international scale. They say it's the most serious incident at the facility since the initial accident in 2011. 
Last week, plant operators discovered the leak in a storage tank. They estimate 300 tons of contaminated water escaped. Some of it may have flowed through a ditch and into the ocean. Officials with the Nuclear Regulation Authority decided to raise the leak's severity rating by two levels on the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale. They took into account the massive amount of radioactive substances that are believed to be getting into the environment. The scale consists of eight levels. Regulators initially ranked the leak at level one, which is defined as radiological anomaly. A level three event is defined as a serious incident. That classification is given in case of severe radiation contamination with possible health effects on the local population that would be non-lethal. Level 7 represents the most serious incident, a major accident. It indicates a significant release of radioactive materials with potentially widespread health and environmental effects. The initial meltdown and explosion at the Fukushima plant was classified as a level 7 incident. In 1986, Chernobyl disaster uh, was given the same assessment. International Atomic Energy Agency officials supported the rating change on the contaminated water leak. They say the incident can be looked at uh, separately even though it took place within the larger context of the Fukushima crisis. Workers at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have been struggling to control the flow of radioactive water. Japan's industry ministry plans to take aggressive measures next month to address the growing problem. Workers last month found that highly radioactive water was flowing with groundwater into the sea. They also recently discovered that more than 300 tons of contaminated water leaked from one of the storage tanks. Some of the water may have escaped into the sea. A panel of experts at the industry ministry plans to compile a number of countermeasures by the earliest possible date next month. The steps will include preventing tainted water from leaking into the sea and blocking groundwater from entering areas near reactor buildings. Groundwater is mixing with radioactive water in the basement of the reactor buildings. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, plans to restart a filtering system to remove radioactive substances from toxic water. It says it will carry out a trial run of the system as early as mid-September. The system previously experienced problems. The expert panel will consider expanding the use of such treatment equipment to reduce the amount of contaminated water. More than 300,000 tons of tainted water is stored in tanks at the site. More bad news for the people trying to control the contaminated water leak at the Fukushima plant. Officials with Japan's nuclear regulator say there may be more than one storage tank that's leaking radioactive water. TEPCO officials broke the news to their counterparts from the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Friday. They say radioactive readings inside a ditch leading into the Pacific Ocean have been rising since Tuesday. They say workers have found higher concentrations of strontium and other beta ray emitting substances in water samples taken from the ditch. NRA Commissioner Toyoshi Fuketa says the ditch may have collected more spilled radioactive materials as a result of rainfall. But he also suggested that more than one tank may be leaking. He told the TEPCO managers to start monitoring the tanks more closely. Workers at TEPCO have also reported a plunge in levels of chlorine and radioactive materials inside a utility tunnel after work began to pump out densely contaminated water. NRA officials say the readings probably dropped when low chlorine groundwater flowed into the tunnel. They say this could mean tainted water from the tunnel seeped into the soil and mixed with groundwater.